Welcome. We are here today on the edge of Europe and St. Patrick's Day in the middle of the coronavirus and I'm sending you guys all love and blessings. Maureen, I'm in a not safe zone right now, but we'll just wear a mask. So thank you to Maureen for coming and thank you to Jack for having this uh, vision of bringing the Celtic School of Yoga to you this way. So enjoy. Cool, so please come to all fours yeah. and turn your toes under. Bring your hands as wide as your outer shoulders and fingertips stretched out evenly like the sunshine that's coming tomorrow. Press your fingertips down. And then take a deep inhale. On your exhale, round your back. Tuck your tail long. Inhale, soften your heart towards the earth, tilt your sit bones to the sky. And four more, just like that, at your own rhythm. Cat cows, rounding and bowing. And at the end of your last one, just come to a neutral tabletop position. Inhale, stretch your right leg back in a long lunge, and then your left leg back into plank position. Lift your hips, downward facing dog. Inhale, bend your knees, walk your hands all the way back to meet your feet. Hands on your hips, shoulders up and back, Push down into the earth. Inhale, rise all the way up. And come to the front of your mat, please. <laughs> so feet parallel. Heels underneath your sit bones. And then just check, so from the base of the second toe to the middle of your ankle. Turn your right foot slightly more. Yeah, there you go. The, the right foot heel out wider. There you go. And then spin your feet. Just think about <laughs> what it is to like, go through this whole transition of the world, this global virus thing. You know, how we stay steady in our own heart and our own wisdom, but this too shall pass. And then with your breath, inhale, stretch your arms up. And exhale, bend your knees, touch the earth. Keeping your knees bent, inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold and bend your knees. Two more, just like that. Inhale, look forward, knees bent. And then exhale, fold. And one more, inhale, look forward, knees bent. And exhale, fold. Step your right foot back in a long lunge. And your left leg back to meet it in plank. Take a breath. And on an exhale, come all the way down to your belly. All the way down to your belly. Bring your hands a tiny bit wider, Maureen. Point your toes and bring your feet together. Bring your hands so they're underneath your elbows. Yeah, walk them back just slightly. There you go. Press your feet down. Inhale, shoulders up and back. Press all the way up for cobra. Shoulders up and back. Exhale, come all the way down. Turn your toes under. Press back into all fours, lift up into downward facing dog. Inhale, step your right foot forward. Exhale, step your left foot forward and fold. Bend your knees enough so that your low ribs are on your, thigh, uh, on your thighs. And then inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold and begin to straighten your legs, but only as much as your ribs don't leave your thighs. Two more, just like that. Inhale, bend your knees. Exhale, fold. Ribs on your thighs, starting to stretch your legs straight. And last one, inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold, and begin to straighten your legs. Inhale, look forward. Hands on your hips, shoulders up and back. Push down into the earth. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, release your hands. Inhale, stretch your arms up. Exhale, bend and fold, touch the earth, our beautiful planet. Inhale, look forward, bend your knees. 
Exhale, fold. Step your left foot back in the long lunge. Step your right leg back in the plank position. And on an exhale, come all the way to your belly. Point your toes and bring your legs together. Press your feet down. Inhale, shoulders up and back. Lift your heart forward, cobra. Shoulders up and back, keep squeezing your legs. And then exhale, press back down, facing God. <clears throat> Inhale, step your left foot forward. Exhale, step your right foot forward in the plank. I mean, into forward bend and bow. Inhale, hands underneath your shoulders. Exhale, fold. Two more. Inhale, lengthen forward. Exhale, fold, and begin to stretch your legs straighter. And last one. Inhale, look forward, low ribs on the thighs. Exhale, fold, start to stretch your legs straighter. Inhale, look forward, hands on your hips, shoulders up and back. Inhale, push down to the earth, come all the way up to standing. Exhale, release. Mm. Bring your hands all the way together and your feet together. So bring your feet together for this one. Stretch your, um, squeeze your legs together and stretch your arms straight. You can clasp your fingers or not. From your pelvis, push into the earth and stretch all the way up, full stretch. Keep squeezing your legs and on an exhale, release your hands. Sit back like you're sitting on a chair. Touch the floor beneath you. Yeah, sit, keep squeezing your thighs together. Inhale, lift your torso, lift your arms. Yeah, keep squeezing your legs. And exhale, fold, place your hands. Step your right leg back into a long lunge. And then step your left leg back into a plank. Take a breath. Exhale, come all the way down to your belly. Inhale, come up for cobra, legs strong, shoulders up and back. Exhale, down facing dog. On your next inhale, strong arms, lift your right leg up to the sky. Keep your arms strong and bend your knee, your top knee. Stack your hips with your breath. Inhale, stretch it all the way back up. Exhale, lower. Spread your fingers and strengthen your arms to your heart. From your heart, push down through your arms. On an inhale, lift your left leg up to the sky. Bend your knee and then stack your hips. Keep both arms strong. Inhale, come back into the center. Exhale, lower all the way down. Inhale, come into plank. Exhale, come all the way to your belly. Bring your legs together. And then on this version, bring your hands, your fingertips, so they're off the mat like Spider-Man fingers. And then about the altitude of your shoulders. There you go. Squeeze your legs together. And then from your pelvis, press the tops of your feet down. From your pelvis, lengthen your side body so your shoulders lift towards your ears. From your fingertips, lift your shoulders. Press your feet down, press your fingers down. Inhale, lift your heart. Keep your legs strong and then just kind of swish it around a little bit. Right arm, right shoulder, then left shoulder. With a little bit of a smile. A little St. Patrick's snake offering. And on an exhale, come all the way down to your belly. Bring your hands underneath your elbows beside your rib cage. Turn your toes under and then charge your legs strongly. Shoulders up and back from your hands and feet and your belly. Press up plank, downward facing dog. Strong belly plank and then down back. There you go. <laughs> Press all the way back. <sighs> Five nice breaths in downward facing dog. So press your fingers into the earth. On an inhale, lift your armpits. And on the exhale, soften your heart towards the earth. Activate your arms all the way into your heart. And then from your heart, stretch your down through your arm bones, through your hands. From your heart, lift up through your sit bones and stretch your heels longer towards the earth. 
So the inhale, strengthen your arms and legs all the way to your heart. And then exhales, extend from your heart back into the earth through your arm bones, up your hips, and down your heels. At the end of your next exhale, inhale, step your right foot between your hands. Come high on your fingertips. And then activate your legs all the way to your pelvis so that the back leg is straight and strong. From your pelvis, push down into your feet and then inhale, lift your torso, lift your arms, stretch it all the way up, back leg strong. Inhale, strengthen your back leg even stronger. And on your exhale, push down into the earth. Take your shoulders back, throat and head back, a little bit of a smile. <laughs> And exhale, lower your hands, touch down, get that downward facing dog. And then just notice the difference. <clears throat> On your next <throat> inhale, step your left foot forward between your hands. Come high on your fingertips, and then just pause and take a breath. Inhale, squeeze your legs together and charge your back leg so that the muscle just above your back knee presses up and your back heel lifts straight up to the sky. And keeping that, push your leg bones through your leg bones into the earth and inhale, lift your torso, lift your arms. So the back leg is the steadiness, it's the steadiness that holds. And on an exhale, release your hands. Either side of your foot, step back down, facing dog. Look up in between your hands, bend your knees, and step or jump forward, forward bend. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, look forward. Bring your hands on your hips, shoulders up and back. Push down into the earth. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Bring your feet all the way back together again. Inhale, stretch your arms up. Exhale, bend your knees, touch the earth. Keep squeezing your legs. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, step your left leg back, long lunge. Exhale, step your right leg back into plank. And press back down with facing dog. Inhale, stretch your right leg up. Bend your knees, strong arms, and stack your hips. Inhale, back into the center. Exhale, lower that leg. With your breath, strengthen your arms, and inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, bend your knees. Inhale, back into the center. And exhale, lower. Inhale, come into plank. Exhale, come all the way to your belly. Legs together, bring your hands wide again. Come high on your fingertips, squeeze your legs. Press your feet down, inhale, come all the way up. Shoulders up and back. A little bit of a smile, just a rolling and opening. And exhale, come all the way back down. Bring your hands underneath your rib cage, I mean underneath your elbows by your rib cage. Turn your toes under and charge your legs. Yeah, so that the, your feet, your toes will be turned under like a lunge foot. Charge your legs strongly. From your hands, shoulders up and back. So it's already engaged. From your belly, from your hands, from your feet, everything draw into your central power. Press up, plank, downward facing God. And take a breath here. Spread your fingers and press your fingers down. Bend your elbows slightly and then press your hands down and towards each other to engage your biceps. Bring your shoulder blades onto your back. From your heart, stretch your arms straight. From your heart, stretch up through your hips and stretch your heels towards the earth. Inhale, step your left foot between your hands. Charge your legs strongly. 
push down into the earth, inhale, lift your whole torso up, lift your arms, full stretch, maybe even bring your hands together for this one. Keep the back leg strong, root down through the earth, stretch your arms all the way up, so the back leg's super strong, all the way up, and release your hands, exhale and release, downward facing dog. On your next inhale, step your right leg between your hands, please, and take a breath. Then activate your legs, so the back leg's strong, that's the anchor. From your pelvis, root down into your legs and feet. Inhale, lift your torso, lift your arms. All the way up, bring them all the way straight. Even stretch them straight up towards the sky. From your pelvis, root down from your pelvis, stretch up and full offering. Exhale, release, hands on either side, step back down and facing body. Spread your fingers. Press your fingers down and bend your knees slightly. Look between your hands like a little kid on St. Patrick's Day. Jump forward, <laughs> forward bend. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold. Moving with your breath. Inhale, unfold, look forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, look forward, bend your knees, bring your hands on your hips, shoulders up and back, push into the earth, inhale, come all the way up to standing, exhale, release. <laughs> so, please take a wide stance facing the windows. And then stretch your arms out. So bringing your feet as wide as your ankles, I mean, as wide as your ankles, your feet as wide as your wrists, so stretch your arms out. Yeah, it'll feel a little bit wide, so if you're at home, you might have to look in the mirror for just the wider. And then turn your palms open. Take a breath and soften. And then inhale, press your feet down and activate your leg muscles all the way to your pelvis. Keep that, and then exhale, stretch through your pelvis, through your leg bones to the earth. Inhale from your hands, feet, and head, everything hug in. And then exhale, grow through your bones, into the earth, through your heart, through your fingertips, through your mind. And three more, just like that. Inhales, activate all your muscles, your leg muscles, your arm muscles, your biceps, everything hugs in. And then exhale, extend into the earth and shine back into the heavens. And last two. And at the end of your last exhale, release your hands and then step back into the middle. Still facing this way. And then just feel for a moment. When we align to the rhythms of nature, what happens? Take a wide stance again. So go wide for this one, and then bring your hands onto your hips. Squeeze your legs together, and on an exhale from your mid-belly, start to bow forward, shoulders up and back. So keep squeezing and hugging your feet towards each other as you bow forward. So it protects your hamstrings, and then on an exhale, release your fingertips underneath your shoulders. Protects your hamstrings and your low back. So you can go a little bit wider, Maureen. Can you go a little bit wider? There you go. And then squeeze your legs together. Inhale, look forward. Keep squeezing your legs together, and on an exhale, fold and bow. Keep squeezing your legs together. You can even move your hands back so that your fingertips are in line with your finger, your toe tips, and bring them a little bit wider again, just a little bit, there you go. Keep squeezing your legs together, and then from your pelvis, stretch through your leg bones, from your pelvis, shoulders back, and bow your head even deeper. Inhale, look forward, come high on your fingertips. Now squeeze your legs together, Bring your hands on your feet, keep, I mean your hands on your hips, keep squeezing your legs together, shoulders up and back, and then push down through your legs, inhale, come all the way up, exhale.
exhale, <laughs> release. And staying wide for this one. We'll do that again. This time bring your hands behind your back and clasp them. Fingertips woven together and the thumbs at the base of your low back, just above your booty. Squeeze your legs together. With your breath, lift your whole shoulders, both shoulders towards your ears, and then from your fingers, squeeze your elbows and your shoulders to, towards each other. Keeping that, stretch your arms straight behind you, away from your booty. Keep your throat open, take a breath, squeeze your legs, and on an exhale from your mid-belly, keep the legs strong as you bow forward. Yeah, keep strong legs, squeezing. Yeah, there you go. And then, from your pelvis, grow through your leg bones, from your pelvis, grow through the top of your head, stretch your arms a little more, even actually look at the floor beneath you. So you'll lift a little, yeah, lift, there you go, and then stretch your arms a little bit more. Good job, guys. And then exhale, release your fingertips to the earth. Release your fingertips and touch the yeah. earth. <laughs> let, your, <laughs> let your hands go touch the earth. And then inhale, look forward. <laughs> Squeeze your legs, bring your hands on your hips, shoulders up and back, push through your legs, inhale, come all the way up to standing, and exhale, release, and step or jump back into the middle. <sighs> so we'll still be facing this direction. And then, so take a wide stance. Laughing is loud in my world. <laughs> welcome. So bring your legs wide again to go a little bit wider. So when you have your legs to the optimal um, width, which is approximately underneath your wrist, depending on what's happening in your body, it actually sets you up for all the lateral standing poses. So a little teeny bit wider more if you can. Oh, how did you, you have an injury. Okay, so I forgot about that. So take care of that. Turn your right foot to the back wall and stretch your arms out. Yeah, there you go. And then just check your foundation. So if you drew a line from your heel to your back arch, that's the placement of your feet of the foundation for the lateral standing poses. Take a deep inhale and charge your legs. On your exhale, bend your right knee so it's right over your heel. There you go. And then pause and take a breath. There you go, bend a little bit more if you can, Marie. Your front knee, then, yeah, there you go. Squeeze your legs together. And then from your pelvis, press through your leg bones. Lift up through your heart, stretch through your wings, and through your throat. And on an inhale, root down through your legs, come all the way back up to standing. Exhale, release your hands, and turn your feet parallel. <laughs> Turn your left foot to the back and stretch your arms out again. Squeeze your legs, make them strong. Keep the back leg strong and bend your front knee so it's right over your heel in a square. So the femur bone, the front femur bone will be parallel. There you go, man. A little bit more. Yeah, you don't have to move your foot, just bend your knee. There you go. Charge your legs. <laughs> stretch through your leg bones, lift up through your heart, and stretch through your arms. And on an inhale, root down through your legs, come all the way back up to standing, turn your feet parallel, and step back into the middle. And we'll do that again. <laughs> Adding on, take a wide stance. So you go wide, and then it feels more comfortable once you've been there. It's like going to a neighborhood that now you know it. Turn your right foot to the back wall. The back wall. And on an inhale, lift your arms. Lift your arms. This time turn your palms open. <laughs> Charge your legs and bend your front knee so it's right over your heel. Take a breath. Press your feet together. Widen your left thigh back and then anchor your tailbone. 
From your pelvis, root through your leg bones. From your pelvis, lift up through your heart and expand through your arms, through your mind. Bring your, turn your left hand down to the back of your thigh. From your right hand, draw all that goodness right into your shoulder, into your heart, and then open it up. And on an exhale, lower your right hand, either forearm to your thigh or to the outside of your ankle, uh, the outside of your right ankle, and bring your left hand onto your hip. Yeah. Can you bend your front knee a little bit more? And, yeah. And you can either have your forearm on your thigh or bring your right hand all the way down to the ankle. Now charge your legs. From your belly, lengthen through your shoulders, take your left shoulder back. Throw the head back and then bring your left arm straight up to the sky. Palm facing the, this wall, this way. Yeah, so the palm will face this way. Then from your hand, turn all the way into your shoulders. So the rotation happens all the way into your arm. Stretch it slowly all the way over. Inhale, charge your legs. And then exhale, grow through your legs from your right belly. Turn and open it up. And on an exhale, root down into the earth. Inhale, come all the way back up to standing. Exhale, release, turn your feet parallel. And left foot to the other wall. <laughs> Inhale, stretch your arms out and turn your palms open. So open to receive. It also helps get a little bit of external rotation on your shoulder. And keep that on an inhale, bend your front knee, and take a breath. Squeeze your legs together. Widen your right thigh back so it stays strong, and then lengthen your tailbone on the left side so you feel a little lift in your left belly. Grow through your leg bones, expand through your heart, through your wings, through your mind. Bring your right hand down to the back. From your left palm, plug in, and then from your heart, open it up. How will you meet the world in all its beauty? And on an exhale, lower your left forearm to your thigh or left hand on the outside of your ankle, right hand onto your head. Take a breath. Squeeze your legs together. And then from your pelvis, root down from your left belly, turn, open it up, right shoulder back, throat and head back, stretch your right arm up to the sky, palm facing the, this side, and then turn your palm so it's all the way into your shoulder and stretch it all the way over your ear, full stretch.
Squeeze your legs together and then start to stretch your front leg straight. If it doesn't get straight, bring your left hand on the inside or use a block. If it's straight, like these guys have it straight, walk your left hand so it's underneath your shoulder behind your ankle and press your forearm to your shin. So it's your forearm will help support that. Keep your legs strong and bring your right hand onto your hip. Legs strong, turn and lengthen. From your pelvis, stretch through your legs. From your pelvis, take your right shoulder up and back and then stretch your right arm straight up to the sky. With your next inhale, squeeze your legs together again. <laughs> and then exhale, stretch through your legs. Grow through your heart, through your mind. Beautiful shining. And exhale, bend your left knee, lower your right hand. Swivel your heel up and take a breath. Step your right foot forward slightly, just a little bit. And bring your left hand forward about, um, both hands forward actually, so that they're a, about a foot in front of your, your foot. And your left thumb is about a foot in front of your left pinky toe. There you go. Spread your toes on both feet, especially your right foot, your back foot. On an inhale, step forward and lift your back leg. Turn your foot towards the side wall, spread your toes. Keep your right leg strong and then press down into your right leg, press down into your left hand. Maybe bring your right hand up to the sky. There you go. Back leg strong, root down through your leg, turn and open it up. And on an exhale, lower your right hand, step back into a lunge. Turn your foot towards the midline. Walk your, stretch your front leg straight, walk your hand back and open it up and trick and awesome it one more time. And on an exhale, bend your left knee, step, lower your hand, step back into downward facing dog. <laughs> bend your knees, walk your hands all the way back to meet your feet. Bend your knees again, shoulders up and back, bring your hands onto your hips, root down into the earth, inhale all the way up to standing, exhale, release. Please come back to the front of the middle of your mat and face this direction. So now we're going to do the other side. Uh, inhale, take a wide stance. There we go. Bring your arms nice and wide. And turn your right foot to the back wall. Exhale, bend your right knee, lower your hands, and lower your hands to either side of your foot and slowly your back, back heel. You might be close to the wall. <laughs> Move back, sorry, there we go. Um, yeah, there we go. Uh, so back leg strong, and then lift your toes and lift your heel on your front leg. Stretch your both legs straight and strong. There you go. So a version of Parsvottanasana, of um, extended forward bend. Squeeze your legs together, and then from your pelvis, stretch through your leg bones. From your pelvis, start to bow forward, like your heart going towards your foot, not so much towards your thigh. And on an inhale, bend your front knee. Turn your back heel to the midline. So the, the, having the length and the back leg is gonna give you more space to get into the full expression of the pose. So you guys can both walk your back foot back a little and bend your front knee more. And bring the back foot more parallel. There you go. Squeeze your feet towards each other. And then start to stretch your front leg straight. Again, if your leg, if you're at home and your front leg is not straight, you can bring your right hand on the inside. Otherwise, walk your hand so it's underneath your shoulder and fingertips behind your ankle. Press your forearm into your thigh, I mean into your shin. 
Charge your legs. Push down through your legs, bring your left hand onto your hip, and turn your torso this way. Left shoulder up and back. Push down through your leg bones. From your pelvis, lengthen. Take your left shoulder back and then stretch your left arm straight up to the sky. Couple breaths here. The inhales again. Draw in. Legs strong. And then the exhales grow through your legs. Grow through your heart and both fingertips. And on your next exhale, bend your right knee. Lower your left hand. Swivel your back heel and step forward slightly. Bring both fingers. If you need to move back a little bit back, there you go. So that it's kind of like in a, in a triangle where both hands are supportive of the foot, your front foot. And then back toes active. On an inhale, step forward, lift your left leg to the sky, spread your toes. Yeah, root down through your right leg, root down through your right hand, and turn and open it up, left arm up to the sky. Ardha Chandrasana, the half moon pose. Never really realized that the half moon, when we see a full moon, we're seeing a half moon, that's what it is. And on an exhale, bend your right knee, lower your left hand, step back long with the back leg, stretch your front leg straight, Open it up one more time and step forward. Full trikonasana. And exhale. <laughs> Lower your hand. Bend your knee. And uh, step forward. Forward bend. So we'll move backwards this time. <laughs> Inhale, lift forward. Bring your hands <laughs> up your hips. Shoulders up and back. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. And exhale, release. <laughs> okay, you go. Being sports, being sports. <laughs> so then we'll do a couple of balancing poses since we're almost at spring equinox. I love the, you know, Jack's book. He talks about you know how the St. Patrick's. There's no history of like celebrating with spring equinox, but it's um, the the closest thing is the St. Patrick's Day. So kind of hit. We're getting two birds with one stone. Is that how it goes? No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so please come to the front and um, balancing poses. So if you want to get off the mat, sometimes, like, especially if you have double mats, I like to be on hard surfaces. So stand steady and then bring your feet together to start. Just help spine the midline. And then activate your legs, even lift your toes. And then keep the activation of the muscles, but lower your toes. Shift your weight onto your right leg and then lift your left heel slightly. Either bring your heel to your ankle or your heel to your shin or all the way up into your thigh. But not on your knee, so not on your knee. Either up or down. You can use your hand to, to bring it up too. Charge your leg. And then grow through your leg. Inhale, you can bring your hands down, you can bring them to your heart, you can stretch them all the way up. Yeah, keep squeezing into the middle as you root down and rise up. Together we will create a beautiful forest. And on an exhale, release, lower your hand, lower your foot, and jump switch. <laughs> bring your legs together. Yeah, squeeze your legs. Lift your toes, lower your toes. Shift your weight over to the other side. Root down and then get light on the other side, either ankle, shin, or thigh. Press down through your standing leg and then at your own rhythm, lift your arms to wherever you feel most connected to the source of the earth and the source of heaven. And on an exhale, Lower your hands and release. Number two, huh? we should do a film of this with all the blocks. <laughs> Charge your right leg and then shift your weight over to that side. Bend your left knee, take your hands underneath the thigh. And then shoulders up and back. Push your foot down to start to stretch your legs straight and just stretch it straight. 
spread your toes <laughs> if you can. <laughs> and on an exhale, bend your knee and lower your foot. And again, jump switch. <laughs> so charge your left leg, charge your left leg, and then bend your right knee with your hands underneath your thigh. With your breath, lift your shoulders and anchor that. From your pelvis, root down through your left leg and press your right foot down to stretch it straight. So it's that pulsation that is this rhythm of drawing in and integration and expanding out in radiance happens in everything. And on an exhale, bend your right knee and lower all the way down. Okay, so plan B, you can either do that or down strong on your right leg, shift your weight over to your right leg. Bend your left knee and take the outer edge of your left foot. Yeah, there you go. So, yeah, yeah. so bring your hand, come back and let's do the whole thing over again. That was my fault. So bring your feet parallel again. Yeah, stay strong on your right leg. Bend your left knee, bring your hand on the inside of your knee to take the outer side of your foot. There you go. Stand strong on your right leg and then squeeze your knee towards the middle. So the knee goes in. Keep that and then stretch your, widen your left hip out to the side. You can either keep that or start to stretch your leg straight. <laughs> there you go. And keeping your right leg strong, inhale, bring your left leg back into the center. And exhale, release. It's tricky teaching that. <laughs> Teaching that and trying to like. Okay, so switch legs. Stand strong on your left leg. So you activate the left leg and then root it down to ground. Inhale, bend your right knee. Take the outer edge of your foot from the inside of your knee. So with your same hand, other hand. Yeah, there you go. Squeeze your knee to the middle so your foot is standing. Keep your knee squeezing in as you widen your hip out. Keep rooting down through your standing leg and then begin to stretch your legs straight. And on an inhale, bring it back into the center. And exhale, release. Good job. So, that was good. <laughs> Jump back to the front of your mat. Inhale, stretch your arms up. Exhale, bend your knees, touch the earth. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, step your right foot back in a long lunge. And then exhale, lower your right knee all the way to the ground. So it's going to lower it straight down and it's behind your hips. Inhale, root into the earth and lift your torso. Have a nice little twist. With your next inhale, stretch your right arm up to the sky and then on your exhale, from your back right body, turn. Get really deep, all the way down. Get your right elbow all the way over your left thigh and knee. You bring your hands together and namaste hands, which is what we're doing in the coronavirus. Good job, no touching. <laughs> Shoulders up and back. So you can either stay here or look down at the earth. And on an inhale, stretch your back leg straight. When you're looking down, it helps ground. There you go. Back leg straight and strong. From your pelvis, lengthen and turn a little bit deeper. Maybe look up to the sky. Inhale, unfold, lower your hands, and step back into downward facing dog. On an inhale, step your other leg between your hands. And lower your knee to the earth. Inhale, lift your torso. Stretch your left arm up to the sky. On an exhale, from your back left body, so twist from the back, move from your source, and turn to the right. Get as deep as you can, and lower your uh, outer upper arm to the outer side of your knee or thigh. Hands together. Shoulders up and back, even here. 
from your pelvis, root down, maybe stretch your back leg straight or not. From your pelvis, turn, lengthen and turn. The last thing that follows is your head. It follows the inner movements. Inhale, back into the center. Exhale, release, downward facing dog. Look up in between your hands, bend your knees, and push into your hands, the leg we jump forward, or step forward. Inhale, look up, exhale, fold. This time, bring your feet all the way together again. Squeeze your legs. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, sit back all the way on the chair. <laughs> Inhale, stretch your arms all the way up. And exhale, fold forward bend. From forward bend, keep squeezing your ankles together. Lift your heels, bend your knees, and then bring your knees wide. You can stretch your arms out in front of you, start to sit back on your heels and just a gentle malasana. If your heels get all the way down, then yay. If they don't, keep stretching your arms out as you lower your heels towards the earth. And then on an exhale, start to lower your whole booty towards the earth. <laughs> as gracefully as possible. <laughs> or not. Boom! <laughs> Yay! That was beautiful. And then, here we go, a couple little back bends. So please come to your back. Your own back. All of your backs. And <laughs> bring your feet parallel. And so, I get to be Parallel patrol. There you go. That foot always wants to wander. And um, bend your elbows. Steady your breath. Feel your feet. Feel where you're touching more than yourself. Your back, your head, your elbows, your shoulders. On your next breath, lengthen your shoulders towards your ears so that the breath actually lifts your inner body, lifts your outer body. From your fingers, press your elbows down so that the shoulder blades come together and your shoulders move back. From your upper palate, press your head into the earth. From your upper palate, press your elbows down, Press your feet down, lift your hips. Inhale, lift your hips. And then a couple breaths here. The inhales from your feet and hands all the way from the back of your head. From your head, your palate, press your head back. Press your elbows. And then stretch through your knees and heels. And that lifts your heart even more. And at the end of the next Exhale, lower so your tailbone touches first. And then just take a breath and feel. We'll do two more. Adding on one little thing. You can trip, you can add on or stay at any of the different um, levels. So bend your elbows again. You're holding daffodils in the garden. With your breath, lift your shoulders towards your ears and press your elbows down. From your palate, press down into the earth, press your elbows, press your feet down, lift your hips. Keep pressing your elbows down more to lift your heart even more. Walk your hands together, under, clasp your hands together underneath your low back, and roll onto your right shoulder, bring your left shoulder towards your ear and towards your spine. Roll on your left shoulder, bring your right shoulder towards your ear and towards your spine. From your palate, press your head back. From your palate, press your arms straighter. From your palate, lift your hips 
higher, your heart higher, your hips higher, stretch into your feet. We're going to walk your feet about two inches. There you go. Put a little bit higher. And on an exhale, release your hands, lower your sit bones first. And just let everything go. Last one. Bend your elbows. Shoulders up and back. Press your head back. Press your elbows. Lift your hips. Keep pressing from your head through your elbows. Lift your hips. And clasp your hands underneath. Roll onto one shoulder, bring the other shoulder towards your ear and towards your spine. And then the other shoulder towards your ear and towards your spine. Press your head back, keep the throat open, press your elbows down. This time, walk your feet about two inches towards your head. Yeah, and then lift your heels high, like you're on high heels. Keep pressing your arms down. Keep squeezing your arms together, release your hands, and Place your hands underneath your pelvic bones. Yeah, underneath your pelvic bones. Squeeze your elbows together. Bring your palate, press back again. Bring your palate, keep squeezing your elbows, pressing them down, and stretch through your heart, through your knees. Maybe begin to stretching your heels towards the earth. They may or may not get there. It doesn't matter if they ever do. And on an inhale, lift your heels. Walk your feet away slightly, lift your, release your hips, lower your tailbone, and just take a breath. Ooh. Love, focus, and then let it go. And then at your own rhythm, roll to any side and gently press yourself back to seated. Stretching mm -hmm. both legs forward. So for this one, if your low back is rounded, Then you'll use a blanket. And so you would use the blanket. Okay, just so you can show them. Fold it just like that, right under the sit bones. You can use a blanket or a thin um, pillow or something. You don't want to be too high, but it's going to be um, useful for the next few poses. So stretch your legs straight out and spread your toes. And then bring your hands on either side of your hips, come high on fingertips. So when your hands are high on fingertips, it just gives you more capacity to get space in the upper body. And then look at how cool your toes are. <laughs> yeah, charge your legs. From your pelvis, press through your heels. From your pelvis, lift up through your shoulders. Take your shoulders back, lift up through your throat. Take the sides of your throat and your ears back. And then you can even make this pose, Dandasana, the stack pose, a dynamic pose by the inhales hugging in and the exhales like extending through your leg bones, lifting up through your spine, pressing into the earth, stretching through the ear crown. And then at the end of your last exhale, begin to soften and release. This time, charge both legs, and then keep your heels down and your legs strong, but then manually widen both inner thighs. Yeah, so that the whole leg doesn't, yeah, the heels keeps it anchored. So you keep your heel anchored and then just manually widen. There you go. Keep your right leg strong and bend your left knee so that your left foot is underneath your knee. Keep your legs strong and bring your left hand behind you. Fingertips on the earth. Inhale, lift your right arm all the way up. Right leg strong. Exhale from your back right body. Turn. Anchor your arm all the way over your thigh. 
or you can hold your thigh. Inhale, like yeah. Keep your legs strong. Inhale, lengthen through your spine, and on an exhale, begin to turn. The inhales lengthen. The exhales go deeper. Inhale, draw into your pelvis. On your exhale, stretch through your right leg bone and your left heel. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, broaden your shoulders as you turn. Soften your left eye and just give love with your right. On an inhale, root down and rise and come all the way back out. And stretch both legs out. Thank you for smiling. <laughs> Charge your legs. So again, so anchor, so you actively um, charge your legs and anchor your heel, and then manually widen both thighs. It'll just create more space in the pelvic floor and in the hamstrings and ground. Keep your left leg strong, bend your right knee, heel underneath. There you go. Charge your legs, bring your right hand behind you, left arm up. So you get into the placement. Keep your left leg strong. Inhale, rise up. Exhale from your left back body, turn. Inhale, activate your legs to your pelvis. Exhale, stretch through your leg bones and turn. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, broaden your shoulders and turn. Inhale, legs strong, rise. Exhale, grow through your left leg and your right heel as you turn. And on your next inhale, rise up more. Exhale, turn once more. Soften your right eye. Just open and receive with the left. And inhale, rise and turn and come all the way back out. Okay, so then, this is also another blanket place or prop place. Bend your knees and bring your feet into namaste feet. So the soles of your feet are together. So just if, you're, if your um, knees are way above the iliac crest, which is the hip bone, Jack's demoing, <laughs> which is way up out there, you know, towards his armpits. If, if it's way above the hip bones, like, you know, above the waistline. Yeah, you're good, you're good. But if it's above like the waistline, it gets to be, you should sit on a prop. So, get a prop if you don't have one. Otherwise, bring your feet to namaste. Yeah. And then, bring your hands behind you. Spread your toes on your feet. And then lift your knees towards your ribs, just gently. Yeah, there you go. So that activates the inner thighs. And then keep that, lift your sit bones off the earth with your hands, and then tilt your sit bones back. There you go. And then lower your sit bones towards the earth. From your pelvis, stretch through your leg bones. Stretch your knees away from you. From your pelvis, stretch up through your chest, into your hands, through your throat and head. So the inhales, lift your sit bones again. Tilt your sit bones back again. Lower your sit bones and then stretch. There you go, one more. Inhale, strong feet. Exhale, stretch your knees away. Stretching into your hands also, shoulders up and back. And on an inhale, settle, relax. Bring your, or release your hands, and then use your hands to fold your legs back into the middle. And there you go, stretch them both out again. <laughs> okay, so uh, stretch both legs out, activate them, and then keeping your heels active, manually widen both thighs again. There you go. So it just is a secondary refinement of the integrating muscle energy is the widening. It's important on seated poses and hip openers. 
So keeping your right leg straight, bend your left knee and point your foot and bring your heel towards your pubic bone. So it's gonna be wide, either to your pubic bone or to the same left heel. It's not like, it's not like tree, it's wider. Yeah, so if you can go wider. Is your knee okay on this? Cool. Then spread your toes and you'll turn towards your direction of your pubic bone and your sternum so that it's going forward. Keep your legs strong. Inhale, lengthen through your spine, and then exhale, start to walk your hands forward. Keeping your hips grounded, inhale, activate your right leg, especially. Exhale, grow through both legs, and extend your spine. Inhale, activate your right leg. Press your left thigh down. Stretch through both legs and walk your hands a little bit further, lengthening your heart. On an inhale, root into the earth. Come all the way back up. Take a breath. This time, turn towards your right leg and bring your right hand up towards your hip and your left hand reach it down either to your thigh or to the shin of your right leg. There you go. And so as you go, you're going to be rooting to turn and lengthen. So charge your legs. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, start to walk your hands down. Use your right hand to work the right belly off your thigh as you lengthen forward. Inhale, back off your right thigh, your right waistline. Exhale, extend your heart towards your foot. Use your left hand either around your shin or your outer foot to kind of help you turn over the right leg. And one more, inhale, back your right leg, right waistline off. Exhale, extend. If you get your foot, you can bring your right hand around the inside of your foot. From your fingertips, bend your elbows out to the side. From your pelvis, stretch through your legs. From your pelvis, turn. Bring your shoulders onto your back and extend forward, heart forward. And on an inhale, root down through your legs, release your fingers, come all the way back up to seated. And bend your knee. Are you okay? <laughs> Stretch your both legs out again. Stretch your legs out again. You ready for your close up? <laughs> And actually, you really manually wide your hands <laughs> with a nice and anger. What? <laughs> Not in your contract. Just keep your left leg stretched out and point your right foot. Bring your right heel towards your pubic bone and your instep on the floor. There you go. So it's a little bit, it's not, so it's not going to be a shape like a tree. It's more a wider, a wider angle. There you go. Um, and then realign your left leg, anchor it again, and manually widen both, both thighs again. The other way, yes. Yeah, fingertips this way, charge your legs, inhale, lengthen through your spine, exhale, stretch through your legs as you bow forward. So the inhales engage and integrate all parts of ourselves, the muscles, to the core, and the exhales to remember that connection, even as it extends and expands, always connected to the core, to the source. Inhale, activate your left leg, and spread your toes on your right foot. Press your right thigh down. Inhale, lengthen your spine, and go deeper. On your next inhale, 
move down through your legs. Inhale, walk your hands all the way back to the center. Turn your chest over your left leg. Yeah, and bring your left hand down to the outside and your right hand either to your thigh or your shin. So the left hand acts like a rudder so we don't collapse on the left side. So inhale, use your left hand, press it into the earth and back your left waistline off. And then exhale, start to turn and bow deeper. Starting to walk your hands down. So these guys are super flexible in this way, but if you're not that flexible in your hamstrings yet, just go slow. Inhale, back your left hand off your waistline. Exhale, turn and lengthen your heart towards your feet. If you get your foot, wrap your other hand around the inside of your foot. There you go. Take a breath. From your fingers, widen your elbows and lift your elbows to the sky. That helps you keep the inner body. Length, uh, strengthen your legs and from your pelvis, push down through your leg bones. From your pelvis, stretch through your torso, through your heart. straight up, not out, and then charge them, make your legs strong, and then manually widen, so this, like, so see how this wants to go sideways, you want it there, mm -hmm. and then manually use your hands to do that, yeah. Okay, there you go. Yeah, so, like, because they'll want to go this yeah, way. Yeah. And so, turn over your right leg, and... Bring both hands, your right hand on the outside of your right. So just like we did before, outside of your right hip, left hand over your shin. The, this time, the left leg, I want you to keep it strong and anchored. Its tendency is to go with you. So that's going to be your anchor. Charge both legs. Inhale, back your right waistline off. Turn towards the right. And then the exhale, start to lengthen your heart towards your foot. Keeping your left leg strong. Inhale, back your right waistline off. Exhale from your left belly, turn. If you reach your foot, bring your other hand around again. If not, just, yeah, there you go. So charge both legs. From your fingertips, bend your elbows. If you have it, lift your shoulders. From your pelvis, grow through your legs, especially your Right leg, take your heart towards your feet, your foot. Keeping your left leg strong. One more, bend your elbows, lift your elbows and shoulders. Stretch through your left leg. From your pelvis, stretch through your right leg and your torso. On an inhale, root down through your legs. Inhale, come all the way up. 
release. So then check your feet again. It'll want to go. It'll want to go sideways. Your right foot will want to like this. Like your right foot will want to do that. <laughs> like they have tendencies. They want. They want. You know, your body it, like wants to run off and do its own thing. So <laughs> keep it strong. Manually widen both sides again. Just uh, yeah, manually widen. So you, you move all the way to the bone. Turn over your left side, your left, the left side. Bring your left hand off the mat and your right hand over the, your thigh or your shin. Anchor your right leg strongly. Inhale, back your left waistline off. Exhale, extend your heart towards your foot. Keep your right leg strong. Inhale, back your left waistline. Exhale, extend towards your left leg. Extend your heart. If you reach your foot like these guys did, yay. If not, just keep working in that way. If you reach your foot, bring your other hand around. Charge both legs, especially your right. Inhale, lift your elbows, lift your shoulders. Exhale, stretch through your right leg, stretch through your left leg, and extend through your heart. Two more just like that. Inhale, both legs strong. Lift your shoulders. Exhale, stretch through your legs, especially your right leg. Extend your heart. And last one. And on an inhale, loop down through your legs. Press all the way back up. And bring a couple more. <laughs> How's your knee? So stretch your legs up. Yeah, and your feet up. <laughs> That's true. They're, they're where they're supposed to be. Yeah. Fingertips out in front of you this time. So we've done the standing. Actively charge your legs and then manually widen before you go forward. Yeah. And it's like one of these days I'm going to get in there and like do it. <laughs> into your bones, fingertips out in front of you, charge your legs, press right above your kneecaps, there's like a little magic button there that you keep, it keeps you rooted, lengthen through your spine and exhale, start to walk your hands forward, keep your legs rooted, inhale, lengthen through your spine, exhale, start to extend forward, inhale, lengthen through your spine, Exhale, grow through your legs, go, grow through your torso. Two more, inhale, strong legs. Exhale, root through your legs as you extend and bow forward. And on an inhale, loop down through your legs. Come all the way back up to seated. And then soften your feet and your legs. Use your hands on the inside of your knees to bend your knees and bring them back to center. And just move slowly. And then you can turn to seated facing this direction. It's where we're almost done. <laughs> Stretch both legs out. And, and you can bring them sit bone distance apart, so a, a little bit more. There you go. And then again, activate your legs and anchor your heels before you widen your thighs. Manually widen the thighs. So, yeah. So the legs don't move, but it widens all the way up into your hips. Fingertips on either side of the earth. Again, if at home, if this feels uncomfortable and you're crouching in your low back, you need to sit on something. Fingertips on the earth. Charge your legs. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, start to walk your fingers towards your feet, keeping your legs strong. Inhale, lengthen through your spine, through your shoulders. Exhale, legs strong as you bow forward. Inhale, lengthen. Through your spine and your shoulders, exhale, walk your feet forward, your hands forward. 
Yeah, and just keep going until you get to that edge. The, the key is keeping your thighs strong and grounded and the curve in the lumbar spine. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, extend forward. If your feet are there, yay, take the outer edges of your feet and you can help make them straight, <laughs> yeah. If you have your feet, again, bend your elbows out to the side, lift your shoulders. From your pelvis, stretch through your leg bones. From your pelvis, keep your heart engaged and extend your heart towards your feet. So yeah, without letting your elbows collapse. Stretch through your leg bones, extend your heart forward. And on an inhale, root down through your legs, come all the way back up to seated. And down. Please come to your back. Will I turn the legs down a little? Are you guys okay? That's good. Mm -hmm. ah, yay. <laughs> now it's almost there. So bend your both knees. They are bent. Cross your right ankle, feet on the floor. Cross your right ankle over your left knee. Bend your knees and bring your knee toward your chest. Weave your hands through your left thigh. There you go. And then take your shoulders up and back. You can either uh, straighten the left leg or keep it bent. But whatever you do, spread your toes. <laughs> shoulders up and back. Maybe use your right forearm to stretch your right knee away from you. So the legs are engaged, drawing into your pelvis. And then from your pelvis, stretch through your legs, even press your left um, leg into your hands at the same rate you're drawing it towards your chest. And actively use your right forearm to lengthen your right knee away. And on an exhale, Bend your knee, release your hands, but not the cross of your ankle, and lower your foot. And so you bring your left foot on the floor, bring your hands beside your head in cactus pose. Yeah. And shoulders up and back. If it bothers you, if you have a shoulder thing, you can bring it behind your head. Does it bother me? <laughs> No, I had a shoulder. No, do you? Is it fine? No. Oh, okay. Oh, no. I, just if you do, because like from, I remember you had a rotator cuff thing. So you can bring it back. Is that better? Yeah, shoulders back. Press both elbows wide. And then press your foot down to lift your hips. And move your right cheek where your left, your right booty cheek where your left booty cheek was. There you go. Keep your shoulders Pressing down and lower your knees to the right. So even here, especially the left shoulder, you want to work the shoulder blade, the rotator cuff muscles, that it's actually really healing for that. Spread your toes, and then from your pelvis, start to stretch your knees away from you. Use the top ankle to lengthen that knee. From your inner belly, your inner back, right body, start to turn your whole inner body to the left. So the last thing that turns to the left will be your head. So your lower legs are growing and stretching to your right, and your upper body is turning on the internal axis to the left. And on an inhale, come all the way back center, lift your knees, lift your hips back into the middle, and lower your foot, your feet together. Yeah, and just notice the shoulders up and back, cross the other angle over your knee, spread your toes, bring your knee towards your chest, and weave your hands between your legs to the back of your right thigh. Keep your shoulders back and begin to either straighten that right leg or you can keep it bent. Toes active, no matter what you choose. 
Use your right forearm, left forearm on your left knee. Inhale, actively draw your leg towards you. And your exhale is actively press your right leg away from you and use your forearm on your left leg. So that there's always that balance of steady pulsation that follows the rhythm of life, the whole integration and expansion, the winter and the summer. And on your next exhale, release your fingers, bend your knee, lower your foot, but keep the cross. Bring your hands either in cactus or in a pillow behind your occiput, behind your head. Shoulders up and back and press your right foot into the earth to lift your hips and move your left booty cheek to the, where the right one was. Keep both shoulders engaged as you lower your knees to the left. And then spread your toes again. Even spreading your toes and then kind of kick your booty back, your booty back. Lengthen your left ankle on your knee, from your pelvis, away from your pelvis. And your inner body rise up, shoulders back, and have your whole inner body turn to the right. So the last thing that follows is your head. When we move in this way, following the inner body and following the heart, we actively learn to allow our mind to serve the heart. Allow the mind to serve love, and that becomes wisdom. On an inhale, come back into the center. Bring your hips back into the middle. Place your feet on the floor. And then last but not least, bring your knees up towards your armpits. Wrap your hands in between your knees to the outer edges of your feet. Happy baby. Yeah, so they go over your, the top of your foot to the end of your heel. And then stand your feet like they're standing on the ceiling. From your pelvis, push your feet into your hand. At the same rate, you're drawing your feet towards the earth. And this is like really challenging. See if you can get a little bit of a lumbar curve going. You won't really, but it's just the action. And then maybe begin to stretch your legs straight. Bring them all the way together. Now bend your knees, heels towards your booty. Give yourself a big hug. Wrap your hands around your shins. And thank you so much. And stretch both legs all the way out. And so even in Shavasana, I like to set up for it. So bend your elbows one more time. And then with your breath, shoulders up and back. So that you feel your own gentle self-love. And then bring your feet so that your heels are wider than your hips. And then just let it go. Release your forearms to the earth, palms open. And let everything go. Release your feet. And let a wave of well being move through your cells.
and source of love you can always trust. Begin to move from the inside out. Let it come from the inside of you. Move gently in a way that re enlightens your body. Begin to move and stretch in any way that feels delicious and delightful. And in your rhythm, roll to any side. And just pause for a moment. And with both hands. 